Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I'm taking a look at the Paraterraforming mod by Info the Gamer. This is a mod that consists mainly of Kerbal Constructs statics and therefore it doesn't matter whether you're in stock or JNSQ or real solar system, you can use it in any of them. And the purpose is to basically create structures on other worlds that are uh, sort of industrial in nature, but also there are O'Neill cylinders and geodesic domes. Now I've made domes of my own and I think mine's a superior, but we'll talk about that. Uh, but it has these things that allow you to basically create a settlement on our planet using Kerbal Constructs statics and then you can visit those things. And that's something I'm interested in for roleplay purposes. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the things that it includes. Now there is one kind of part and that's the O'Neill cylinders because if you're going to have an O'Neill cylinder which is huge and you sort of want to interact with it in certain ways you probably don't want to have it be a Kerbal Construct static. Uh, so they exist as parts and rather huge parts and of course it's not RO in this case uh, but yeah this is the small one and this is the interior of the small one, 200 meters by 500 meters. Now I typed in O'Neill up there and you'll note that I don't have the big ones and that is because the big ones are too big and have an issue with them. Uh, when I tried to bring one of the big ones out and they're like 40 kilometers or whatever, uh, it caused a memory leak and the, this install currently takes about 24 gigabytes of RAM which is a lot. Uh, but I have 64 gigabytes. But then when I brought out one of those big O'Neill cylinders, uh, it started spiking and ultimately took 100%. And just KSP alone was taking 48 gigabytes of RAM. So I had to get rid of them. Uh, so there was two big ones. And the bright side is if you do delete them and you'll be going into the cylinders folder, in, uh, in paraterraforming in ADV, for advanced I presume, uh, you will be able to go into the cylinders folder and see them. The one that we have here that survived is the Ohio class one, So, and that's in its own little folder called Ohio. So this one's alright. This one doesn't cause any problems, but uh, the other ones did. And the bright side is that if you delete those, then you save most of the space being taken by the mod. The mod when you download it is 500 megabytes and you unzip it it's one gigabyte but off that one gigabyte 800 megabytes is the big cylinders that will cause a memory leak. So um, you can save yourself that trouble <laughs> and then the mod is less than 200 megabytes. So there's this one, then you can see it has a nice interior. Uh, you know because of the size of it the textures aren't going to be wonderful and it's tough to get around it because even though this is the small one it's still big and I think I'm going to ultimately make my own O'Neill cylinders that I can deliver separately. Uh, the scale of the interior is a little bit weird. Uh, when you think about it this says that it's 500 meters long but if you figure that then just a town like like one town right there that's got to be 500 meters that just that little bit there. So, you know, because when you think about houses and such, maybe maybe a little bit longer is 500 meters, but still, uh, this road to that road is probably already 500 meters. So, yeah, I I'll probably come up with my own version of this because I've done landscapes before, like my Tampico terrain and uh, Edwards or Boca Chica, and with the same technique, I can probably make the interior of one of these very detailed and make it very large and also make it I would like to make it so that you can actually launch it. So that's a goal of mine. A uh, goal of mine is to make it possible to launch O'Neill cylinders. And But this uh, does have some interesting features. Uh, it has this section toggle and so you can have that bit and so it looks like you're building it section by section and you could uh, sort of roleplay delivering up stuff. Then again this is all about roleplaying and the last bit is the interior so but I'm here to take a look at some of the other things as well and those are the Kerbal Construct statics so I'm just gonna bring out a uh, lander here and we're gonna see what kind of Kerbal Construct statics paraterraforming includes. 
Now it'll be a lot easier to use this and do what I want to do with it if you delete the really big cylinders. Um, otherwise they're going to take a lot of space. So here we can see terraforming in the menu in the statics editor here. and But also chemical engineering is included. So the categories are terraforming, chemical engineering, geodesic domes, solar farms, uh, and more geodesic domes. These are things in the terraforming mod. And so lunar solar plant and what I want to do is, I already showed off the domes that I made. And what I want is more statics around those domes to give it more flavor. So like this is one a lunar solar power plant uh, that has these other things around it. Uh, I don't know what those solar things are supposed to do with these spheres, but hey. Uh, it's something that will give a little bit more flavor to the place. So that's good. And there's this 47 kilometer railgun, 3 G's, and something said it was functional, but I don't know, I, I wouldn't mind a railgun on the moon, because actually the moon, uh, it seems to be shooting something there, it looks like something's going along there, but I just don't know how to deal with it. Uh, but, but it doesn't look very good, is it? I mean, it's got very plain textures. Maybe something's missing? I don't know, or something's not assigned right? Uh, because obviously other things have very good textures, so I'm wondering why this looks like this. But uh, in principle, a railgun on the moon could be very useful. You could just shoot things into orbit around the moon, and that could be helpful. It's always a matter of how to do that with Kerbal Space Program, and that's sort of one of the reasons I was trying out the rocket sled thing. Uh, I was testing out the rocket sled with an idea of maybe trying to implement it in other locations like on the moon, but the problem with the rocket sled as it is right now is you have to place the sled on it, and that can really only be done in the VAB instead of in situ. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, this, I just don't know how to get anything into it in the end. So anyway, that's the real gun and there's a one kilometer long real gun and it's got this thing, there it goes, some sort of little shuttle thing. And I guess it's an animation, but I don't know if it'd work out at all. Then there's this 10 meter diameter regolith hab and I, I had previously had my own regolith hab and I think and I, I, I assume this is supposed to be tucked in like this because that would be on the surface so I don't know about this one there are a lot of these that are probably in the midst of development and uh, the mod just didn't get developed further I think or maybe the textures are just messed up somehow I, I just took the zip file off of github so and it was the latest version okay so cylinder habitat also lacking a little bit, probably just a placeholder. So the good stuff is these chemical engineering things though. These are what I'm mostly interested in. Uh, because these you can plop around your base and they look like they're doing important things that Kribbles can walk around and access and check out and make sure that they're working properly. So there's the CO2 extractor Probably not for the moon. Um, that, that would be pro for Mars. Uh, methanol cracking radiator. A reactor, sorry. Well, unfortunately that won't be functional. It won't be doing anything. But, again, for roleplay purposes or just for scenery, it's nice. And Earth distillation tower. Lunar distillation tower. And then this one that's bare. I don't know, I don't see the difference. Oh, maybe it's the bottom bit that's missing from this one. So it's one of those. 20 megawatt water electrolyzer. I don't know what exactly the models are based on, but they're interesting. This one seems to only have a collider on this side, not on that side. Um, you, you can put more than one collider on objects I would like people to know that you are allowed to put more than one collider um, otherwise my domes wouldn't work 
So this is a electro reduction reactor. Let me see if I enable colliders. I don't know if it has colliders on. But anyway, that is a electro reduction reactor. A polymerization reactor. I mean, I wish these were functional too. And you know, you could make it. Uh, you could just use something like USI to have functional ones. This is just another variant of that. Uh, those you would de deliver and they will actually work. But these are just for scenery purposes. And there's a lot of them, like this one. Polymerization reactor is sort of like this. Just looks like a tank to me. Reverse gas shift reactor. Or if you want, you could put one of these and then put the functional one right next to it. <laughs> and then just uh, just have a complex like that. You get the functionality and extra looks. Sabatier reactor looking like this because it intakes the carbon dioxide, I suppose. And then there's a 30 meter cryogenic sphere. That's always helpful. Extremely large pipeline. And then these are modular, so you can use uh, have a bunch of them and string them together. So, and then 500 meter pipeline, a 90 degree bend for the pipeline, angled downward pipeline for slopes, downspout uh, expansion joint. So, lots of pipe things. And then this is a different chemical pipeline. So those are the chemical engineering parts. And those are the ones that I'm most keen on. And then the domes, well, I've got my own domes. But these are also very good domes. The only thing is that they, there's no... Uh, if you set them right on the ground, there's no way for the Kerbals to really interact with them properly. So that's why underneath the dome I have that section where the Kerbals can walk through, uh, a sort of foundation for the dome. Uh, in this case, there's nothing quite like that. But I don't know if there's colliders on this dome, so probably they can just walk through this anyway. I'm not sure. But I would like it so that they can't walk through every little part of it. It's better to have a little airlock section. But there's this dome this larger dome. I should have gone with the triangular method of domes. This regolith dome really doesn't need that. I don't think they're gonna be using that. But it does have sort of a habitat slash airlock thing going here. See this, the others could benefit from something like this. Would be good. And then a larger solar array compared to the one that we saw before. The other one was connected to the other stuff, but this is just on its own. And then there's a small solar static. And then, for some reason, SpaceX colonization domes are different. Uh, I guess because they're flatter. So there's a one kilometer one, 500 meters, and 750 meters. So those are the parts in paraterraforming. And what I want to do is have instances of these already placed in, uh, either on in the Kerbin system, Kerbal system, or in real solar system. And then everybody can visit the same sort of locations if they're arranged properly. So my domes, other parts, and then these. Uh, the only thing is with the paraterraforming mod, it might be better if we delete the really big cylinders so that more people can use it. But I'll try and keep my domes to less than 200 megabytes. And then if the big cylinders are deleted, this is under 200 megabytes. And then uh, we can have instances on different worlds with, with little names for the locations and then visit them. That's the idea. And so instead of playing role-playing Kerbal Space Program in the normal way, which is basically you're the space pioneers just going to those places for the first time. Uh, you're instead a company trying to get to locations that have already been set up and bringing supplies to them or doing stuff like that. 
uh, that's just another a different way to play the game uh, that I'm exploring. So anyway, uh, the pair terraforming mod is one mod that could help out with that. If you know of other mods that might be able to help out with this vision of uh, placing things on other worlds that can be visited instead of set up by the user, then uh, please let me know. So. With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.